Hey guys, in this video we're going to start looking at momentum and collisions and we're going to look at two types of collisions um, first we're going to look at um, inelastic collisions in this video and then we're going to look at elastic in the next right so let's have a look okay momentum is defined as the product of the mass and velocity of a body um, this symbol is for momentum and it's a vector because velocity is a vector so it's got direction and basically what it is is a, a measure of how easy it is to stop something but um, we're not going to look at that property right now um, we're going to prove that later on right now we're going to look at um, another use for momentum which is solving collision problems and just before we move on to that are the units uh, well, mass is in kilograms and velocity is in meters per second. So momentum is in kilogram meters per second. Um, now, onto the solving collision problems, we need this sentence. During a collision between two or more bodies, while the individual momentums of the bodies may change, the total momentum remains constant. So um, the sum of the two momentums of the two bodies before will equal the sum of the momentums of the two bodies afterwards. Right, so that leads to an equation looking like this. Um, first we'll look at this one. Right, so um, the sum of the two momentums of two different bodies, so body one and body two, the sum of the two initial momentums is equal to the sum of the two final momentums and we can substitute in um, our MVs for um, each momentum so we've got here M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final and that formula is what's going to help us solve some collision problems. Now we're going to first have a look at inelastic collisions because they're a bit easier to deal with um, Okay, so let's have a look at the definition before we move on. In a perfectly inelastic collision, the bodies stick together to form one body with a shared velocity. So if you imagine um, the pen colliding into the, the razor, they move away with one shared velocity. Right, so um, I've got a diagram of that here as well. So if you imagine these two balls moving towards each other, they collide and then they move off with a shared velocity in this direction. Right, now what that means is that um, equation is slightly different. Um, so we've got m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Um, you'll sometimes see final velocity written as a u or even initial velocity. Um, but in this case the final velocities are the same because they share their one body and they share that velocity. So we can actually take out the common factor of u and end up with this formula m1 v1 plus m2 v2 equals the combined mass um, of that of that um, one body and the times the shared velocity. Uh, so let's look at how we can use this in a question. Right, a car of mass 0.5 tons traveling at 30 meters per second rear ends another car of um, 0.6 tons traveling at 20 meters per second. The collision is great enough such that cars stick together after the collision. What is the final speed of the tangled mess? Now, since the one car rear ends the other, we can assume they're going in the same direction. Um, so we don't really need to worry about um, positive and negative velocity vectors. But what I'm going to do first is write in um, the formula that we just um, you, we just discovered before. It's that one at the top of the page. Um, let the marker know what I'm doing. And right, and straight from there, we can actually just start subbing in values. So these are actually quite easy to deal with. So M1, 500 kilograms. We change tons to kilograms because um, that's the standard unit. 600 times. 20 meters per second equals 500 plus 600 that's the mass of the tangled mess times u which we don't know yet right um, so if we put that all in the calculator 
we end up with um, 2700 equals 1100U. Divide through by 1100 using a calculator and we find that the final velocity of the tangled mess is 24.5 meters per second. So um, the collision slowed down that um, first car but it made the second car speed up. So that's in inelastic collisions and we'll look at elastic in the next video. Thanks guys. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.